All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen, He-Man is back on and this is not good news and I will explain why. So this is the He-Man and the Master of the Universe, or just Master of the Universe, reimagining that they're looking to get off the ground, that they've been trying to get off the ground for how many years now? A lot. This is the live action film that was at Sony, was at Netflix, now it's looking like it's at Amazon, it is all over the place. But they are circling a director. Uh, they've got a new writer on board to reimagine the script that was there. But we've also got the story uh, of the previous iteration of the script. The script isn't being taken back to basics either, so that's a problem. We'll get to that. Uh, and it's also the fact that it's at Amazon, and we'll get to that, and I'll explain why. So, anyway, there's a quick overview. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. We're going to dive into this, and also follow me over on Twitter, at Mistake Reviews. If you like what I do here, by the way, uh, please do support the channel a little bit further with, uh, you know, a good old patron or a membership of the channel. Trying to get members of the channel uh, up a little bit. I think you can join actually for as little as a dollar. So it really goes a long way. But here we have it. So this was an exclusive to Deadline last night. And it said, Director Travis Knight circling new Master of the Universe movie. Uh, now, Travis Knight is actually a really good pick. Travis Knight is very good. He did uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. He also did Bumblebee. He's great. He's not the issue. He's a very, very good director, I think. And I think he's done some absolutely incredible stuff. It's the other moving pieces of this puzzle that is the problem. But I just want to say that from the off, that actually Travis Knight isn't the issue. Travis Knight's good. He's a good pick. I think he'll. I think he, working within the confines of what he's able to do, will do the best he possibly can. But it says this, so exclusive, the long in development Master of the Universe reimagining from Mattel looks to be gaining some momentum as sources tell Deadline that Travis Knight is in final negotiations to direct. Insiders say his deal does not has not closed sorry, and that other elements of the project are still coming together, but all signs are pointing to Knight being the top choice. Hmm. Uh, Chris Butler will rewrite the script from an initial draft written by David Callahan and Aaron and Adam Nee. Amazon MGM Studios in final negotiations for rights to the project with Mattel's Robbie Brenner and escape artists Todd Black and Jason Blumenthal producing. Now, this is the issue, Amazon MGM Studios. Why is that an issue? Ha, huh, what's this? What's this? Amazon Studios and Prime Video is a home for talent of all backgrounds and we are working to tell stories that represent the joy, depth, complexity and drama that exists across our world. Join the customer and content diversity, equity, inclusion and accessibility team as we unite with the creative right. Ha. Huh. Oh, progress on inclusion. A play... Oh. We've got an inclusion... Oh. A oh. Oh, what's this? Yeah, so if you read this, which I have done, but I've done it on a live stream, this is some of the most racist nonsense I've heard in quite some time. Um, it's really, really bad. In fact, it goes so far as to say, you know, Amazon and MGM need to vet vendors uh, of anything, uh, even going so far as to asking whether a black person owns the vendor or not, and that should get priority. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I just said. Uh, that's in here, uh, and that's the same. In fact, for women, they're like, does it? Does this? Uh, is this business owned by women? Well, you'll get priority. It's just racist and sexist, uh, and this goes right down to casting, which they have listed here. So, Amazon and MGM are the issue with this, as well as the bloody script that they're looking to rework. It is awful. God damn it! So, Amazon and MGM had no comment on this. That's fine. So who is the only good part of this? Knight. Knight is the president and CEO of Laker, the Portland-based animation studio best known for hit stop-motion films including Coraline and Missing Link. So that's cool. Uh, although his focus has still been on animation in recent years, he helmed the 2016 tune feature Kubo and the Two Strings, which is a really good uh, film, really, really charming, and, you know, gets a strong recommendation from me. I really enjoyed that. So Knight made his first big splash into the live action arena with Bumblebee, which everyone loves for the most part, in 2018. So the pick is not uh, only received some of the best reviews for the franchise, but Knight delivered a film under the typical budget of a Transformers pick. So, you know, he's actually a really good thing to do with all of this. He's not bad. But what's the issue? 
Well, they say this, given his unique skill set of working in both the animation and live action worlds, studio execs have viewed him as a top Master of the Universe choice for some time, with sources saying Knight was the only director to give an in-person presentation. That happened last week, and ultimately sealed the deal on him getting the offer. Cool. Oh, wait. Here's the script that they're looking to rework, but not change, as in from scratch. So here's the story. The film is based on the 1980s cartoon series. And this, this iteration, right, the iteration that they're just, you know, they're just reworking a little bit. They're just rewriting the script, but it's still the same script, so it's still the same story. This iteration revolves around nine-year-old Prince Adam crashing to Earth in a spaceship and being separated from his magical sword. And all excitement is gone. Because not only is it with Amazon and they have this nonsense, racist and sexist crap, but you also have it set on Earth. What are you doing? What are you doing? My God. The only link to his home on Eternia. After tracking it down almost two decades later... Adam is whisked back across space to defend his home planet against the evil forces of Skeletor. But wait, to defeat such a powerful villain, Prince Adam first will need to uncover the mysteries of his past and become He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. This sounds like fucking drivel. This really does sound bad. This does not sound good. This sounds like a cheap nonsense. Absolute cheap nonsense. <sighs> God. We don't need an origin story for He-Man. We we know what He-Man is. We, we've had multiple versions of He-Man recently. Two Netflix animations. Two different animations, in fact, from Netflix. One of them having two seasons. What on earth are you doing? This is such garbage. Yes, I really want to watch a nine-year-old Prince Adam running around planet Earth after he crashes in a spaceship. No thanks. I'm good. I'm full. So this sounds absolute poo, clearly. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. This will be a disaster. And as I said, you, I will leave actually this website link down below. Um, and above my head right now will be a pinned video where I covered all of this live. So, if you can't be bothered to look at the website, listen to me talk about it in the background and laugh at how racist and sexist, sexist it is. Anyway, cheers guys, take care. Bye-bye now.